Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Now, today's episode of Tech Dive TV Help Desk actually has to do with apps, just apps. I'm going to talk about three different apps that I use on my Android phone that you can use too. Um, they're Android or uh, iOS, but uh, I use Android, so let's get right to it. The first one is Keyring. Now, you know all those loyalty cards you have, the one from the supermarket that they scan so you can get the savings, the one from, you know, I don't know, the, the store you get your clothes at, any, any of those cards that they, you know, want to scan at before you make your purchase. Those are loyalty cards. Well, Keyring actually lets you store your loyalty cards on your phone. Let's take a look at a brief demo. Saving for my family means using reward cards. I have a card for the grocery store, one for the drug store, the pet store, the gym, you name it. But all those cards are tough to keep track of. That's why I have Keyring. Keyring puts all my reward cards on my phone, so they're there when I need them. Keyring, all your reward cards in one awesome app. Keyring's great. I use it all the time. Now the next app I want to talk about is one for security of your phone. It does um, scanning for malware, you know, some of the applications you download, if you don't get them from the approved app stores, they can be riddled with malware. Also, this application will back up your information and also help you find your phone if you lose it. It's called Lookout. Let's take a look. Your smartphone is your most personal computer and it's waiting to be enhanced by the many great apps that'll make it your own. But not all apps are good for your phone. Some may even contain viruses or malware that can put your phone and personal information at risk. Lookout runs silently in the background, quickly and efficiently checking each app and blocking out the bad ones. You'll never think twice about trying new apps with Lookout on your phone. Lookout will seamlessly back up your contacts and photos to the cloud. That means never losing those important memories, even if something happens to your phone. Your backed up information can be accessed from any web browser and even transferred to a new phone. And it all happens in the background. Your memories are preserved securely without any other steps required. Ever misplace your phone? It's not a good feeling. Sorry, I've lost my phone. Is there any way that I can borrow your tablet? That's why Lookout makes finding it as easy as locating the nearest web browser. Losing your phone is not a good feeling, but finding it sure is. So go to mylookout.com to download Lookout for your smartphone. Your phone is your most personal computer. With Lookout, it'll always be safe. I run Lookout all the time, and I test it every once in a while to find out if it can find my phone, and so far, it always has. Now, the third application is probably the most innovative. I mean, key ring, that's convenient. Lookout, kind of necessary. But this last one is really, really cool. Do you ever take pictures with your camera? Do you ever take pictures of your friends? Do you wish you could be in the picture, even though you're taking the picture and you don't want to do one of those stupid selfie things? So this is an application called Groupic, G-R-O-O-P-I-C. I don't even want to describe it. I just want you to take a look. With every group picture, there's this problem. The person behind the camera is always missing. So possible solutions? You can take a goofy self shot or have an awkward moment with a complete stranger. But nah. If only these two incomplete frames could be combined into a complete group picture. Well, Groupic does exactly that. Take a picture, swap the photographer and take the second one, mark the photographers, and Groupic does the magic. Groupic is available now on the App Store. Well, those are the three apps I wanted to cover for this week. Next week on Tech Dive TV Help Desk, I may be answering some questions. 
If you have any technical questions, feel free to email them to me at techdivetv at gmail.com. Normally, I answer your technical questions. Also, each week now, I'm going to have a favorite app. So tune in next week on Thursday for Tech Dive TV Help Desk. I'm David Hale. Have a great day.